Okay, so I wanted to share you with you really quickly how to create a waitlist page for your coaching program, your digital product, whatever it is you have coming up. It could be a physical product, it doesn't matter. I wanna show you how you can create that page in minutes, okay? So I'm using a tool called Lead Pages. I'm gonna leave the information in the bio so you can check it out. But I'm using this tool called Lead Pages. And this tool is honestly something I use all the time. It's really straightforward to use. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is once you log into Lead Pages, you're gonna click on Create New Landing Page. It's a big purple button and it will land you right here with all these amazing landing page templates. Now, over here on the left, we're gonna select Page Type and I'm gonna scroll down to Waitlist and Coming Soon. You can choose whichever option you want to. I'm gonna choose the one that I use more often than not, and I'm gonna click on Start Building. So it's gonna load the page, and now we're going to um, name it. So I'm gonna rate list test, okay? So I'm gonna just choose a test. We're gonna test it out, and now we have our wait list page. So it loads the template as is. The next thing that I'm gonna do is, I am going to, if you want to, you can change any of these words. I'm just gonna change this. Um, Uh-oh, this offer is not yet available. And then you could put, don't worry, it'll be available again in. So you need to change this information. And the way that you do this is you click on the pencil option, then the calendar option, and we're gonna come over to standard. So standard allows you to choose the exact date and time that your cart is going to open. And so we are going to change the, the year to 2022, and then we're going to change the date. So I'm gonna just click a random date, May 24th, and you see now that it's counting down to that date, all right? Now, another thing that you can do, which is a pro tip, you don't have to do this, is you can click on this clock option and you're gonna click on redirect. So what does this mean? This means that once this timer, this countdown hits zero, it's going to send your people to the sales page, which I think is really, really important. And it's a really great pro tip because let's just say you sent out an email and your people, opt, um, don't um, click on this after the sales page is already live, it won't take them here. It will take them to the sales page so that they can go ahead and see your offer in all of its glory, all right? And the way that you do this is you can select link to a landing page. So if you built your sales page on the landing page, you're gonna select this. If you built your sales page, let's say on your website or it's on an external app, you're gonna click link to an external URL. You're gonna paste that URL here. And I am not going to click open in a new window because I don't want it opening in a new window. I want it to seamlessly redirect to that new page, okay? So that's a quick pro tip. Now, the last thing that you need to do is you need to click here and you need to click on edit pop-up. So you're gonna collect email addresses so that you can communicate with whoever is interested in working with you or purchasing the product or offer that you have this waitlist for. So one of the things that I wanna do is click on edit integrations and I'm going to change my fields. So I'm going to add a field, first name, done. Now I'm going to bring my first name up because I like name, email. And the reason why I collect first names is so that I can personalize the emails when I am sending them out, okay? Now you can change all this good stuff right here. You can change all of this. One final thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are integrated with your um, correct account. So here we have my ConvertKit account, and then I'm gonna select whichever option here, whichever, um, form I want this page to integrate with. So I'm gonna select convert kit. I'm just gonna select a random form and it's going to sync to that form. Or if you use lead notifications, um, that I don't recommend doing that. I do recommend getting your own autoresponder. Don't worry, I will have a video coming up talking to you all about autoresponders soon. And then all you're gonna do is you're going to, I'm gonna exit out of this because it's really annoying to get an email every time someone signs up. And so we've selected our um, account 
be selected, whatever it is that we are, um, whatever form we want our people to automatically be added to. So you're gonna create this form in your autoresponder, all right? And then you're gonna select the form and then you're going to hit publish. And once you hit publish, your page is gonna be live and you are good to go. So I'm going to put a link down below and I'm gonna put more information and resources to help you with creating a really straightforward waitlist page for your product, your offer, whatever it is you wanna build your waitlist page for. And make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this.